All right, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Thursday morning, 10, 15 a.m. That's California time here. April 24th, 2025 is the date. Latest activity shows, uh, looks like a little small earthquake there across California. In the green flag at a 0.7. That looks like it's uh, down there across the Southern California area off the uh, Elsinore Fault. I believe that earthquake here is the uh, one shown up on the Anza. California seismograph station right there also showing up there on Barrett so a little bit of movement down there in Southern California also on the uh, opposite side here of the plate boundary on the San Andreas uh, just off the San Andreas fault here a little bit of a smaller microquake activity as well uh, far as uh, I can see nothing big going on for now but uh, had a little bit of movement yesterday stirring up up here across Northern California with a 4.2 just offshore and then a uh, a short time later, a little bit of movement uh, up into the Bridgeport area. That's in the Sierra Nevada Mountains up here uh, for that 2.8. couple earthquakes there above 2.5. But uh, again, nothing big going on out here across California for now. But we'll continue to keep an eye on that. Uh, through the uh, Washington area, Small, couple small quakes here around Mount Rainier. Nothing big going on up there for now. Of course, that's a, you know, it's a volcano. It can go through little stages of quietness and then really stir up out there. But it's we've been lucky out here. Aside from Mount St. Helens there in somewhat recent times. Uh, up into the uh, Montana area, spread out earthquake activity. Nothing big going on. I think those are, uh, well, there's a couple up there. At least one above 2.5 near Stanley, Idaho from yesterday. Also another earthquake there from yesterday as well up into Montana. Uh, let's give a quick look at Yellowstone. Looks like they added a couple of these small earthquakes that I was talking about last night from um, in the uh, Yellowstone area. But I do want to double check this right now, which is going to be the 24th. And uh, yeah, hey, at least they uh, reported those earthquakes here. A couple of smaller ones around Lake Butte and the Borehole area also showing up on Mary Lake. This is going to be... Some of those earthquakes are in question, but hey, it looks like they um, actually reported all of them there. Aside from that, really not a whole lot going on there across Yellowstone Super Volcano. Here's the older quake there from yesterday in the Little America, Wyoming area. Some type of uh, mining company around here. I think it has something to do with uh, that outfit that's just out there on the uh, outskirts of that earthquake. Here's the earthquake epicenter from yesterday there in Wyoming. Some type of um, mining outfit here. So I'm not for sure exactly what's going on, but uh, a little bit of earthquake activity associated with that. Uh, throughout Texas area, looks like we're ramping up a little bit here. Out around Pecos, Texas, quite a few oil fields out here. A bunch of twos and ones, nothing big happening for now, but a little bit more uh, noticeable increase in movement there recently. Across Oklahoma as well. A couple smaller quakes, nothing big going on across the New Madrid seismic zone. One little earthquake here around Columbia, South Carolina, 2.3. All right, so far as any newer activity here for the worldwide movement, looks like that's going to go to a 5.3 here across the Curl Kamchatka Trench. Very shallow earthquake there right on that subduction zone. That's the largest earthquake so far today and, of course, in the last 24 hours as well. Over the last seven days or so, a number of earthquakes, mostly deeper quakes here into the subduction zone with an occasional surface um, sign there of some, um, some pressure building up. This 4.4 popped over here a couple days ago south of today's quake. So we're keeping an eye here on the uh, subduction zone there of the Curl Cam Chatka Trench. I feel it's definitely... Um, fairly well primed for some large earthquake activity something above uh, say for example 7.5 Alaska area handful of smaller quakes up here as well uh, looks like a fairly recent 4.5 today a couple hours ago 15 miles deep there underneath this area of the subduction zone into the subduction zone I should say um, fairly active out here as well in the last seven days as you can see on the map, uh, 546 earthquakes in this area alone. That's a lot of activity there in the last seven days. Uh, so continuing to keep an eye there on the Alaska region. Been noticing an increasing pattern here of uh, somewhat 
moderate quakes. Of course, the subduction zone here is very capable of producing uh, some big earthquakes in, in excess of 9.0. Uh, let's see what else we have across the planet here as far as any uh, newer activity goes. We've got that adjustment going on up north. Roughly around the same time as uh, that four-pointer struck here in Northern California, we noticed, uh, well, for example, that earthquake up in the Sierra Nevada Mountains, a 2.8, and then uh, notice a trail of activity south here. So a little bit of uh, adjustment was taking place here roughly at about the same time across various areas of the plate boundary. That's the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate Boundary. Uh, looks like today it's worked its way. Uh, we got a little bit of movement down here south off the Baja California tip there. Uh, a lot of older activity down across the Middle America trend. So we'll still keep an eye on it. I know it's been somewhat quiet here aside from yesterday's movement across the West Coast. It comes in waves. You know, you, you figure if you move around one piece of the puzzle, it's going to either, you know, temporarily, temporarily relieve strain out here or uh, maybe even cause some type of domino effect to increase strain it just it's how these plates work out here when you move them around quite a bit of uh, shuffling going on here recently pretty good swarm of activity down across the Perugili trench look at that bunch of earthquake activity uh, that's going to be this region right here 5.1 and uh, looks like today we've seen a number of twos and threes in there as well so far the largest quake in that sequence a five pointer as noted from yesterday but uh Chile Trench is uh, no stranger to big earthquakes in excess of 9.0 as well. New Zealand, fairly quiet for now. Uh, got some active areas out there across Taiwan southward into the Indonesia Islands region, but that's very common for any given day. Uh, still a little bit of further activity out here across the Turkey area following that 6.2 earthquake. Some aftershock sequences there in the four. Three and two range. Nothing going on across the Atlantic Ocean for now. Pretty quiet. Quick glance here at the space weather activity. I wish I could say there's something big, you know, as far as flaring goes, but uh, there's not a whole lot. Looks like some sea flare activity right now <coughs> from a far side sunspot here on the eastern limb. This is going to be rotating here into view over the coming days. We'll get a little bit better uh, view of it. Let me see if we can see it yet on the magneto magnetogram image. It's going to be this area right down here. Not uh, not capable of seeing the entire uh, sunspot area, so we'll have to wait for maybe later tonight or tomorrow. But what we do have on the Earth-facing side of the sun is a lot of sunspots, but really not a whole lot capable of producing anything above a sea flare. I really honestly don't see anything that uh, is noteworthy. Uh, no major solar flare or no major auroras there in the forecast for now. Quick glance at the next close approach asteroids here. Next five of them. Of course, they're always discovering new ones every single day. Uh, today, it looks like a 61 foot house size asteroid coming in with a, about 245,000 miles. It's somewhat close, but. Uh, safe everything else out here looks uh, just as safe as well this one's pretty big 320 feet fortunately this is a uh, a good high number away from the planet storm prediction center for severe weather looks like they added a enhanced risk here for some uh, severe weather across the panhandle of texas five percent chance there for some tornado activity surrounded by two so if you're out there anywhere in the area today Watch for uh, some severe weather. Got some big time health threats as well out there. Seen uh, maybe some baseballs falling out of the sky yesterday out around this area. Big uh, window breakers. Uh, today, roughly about the same thing. We got that huge hatched area here, 30% chance. Now, the hatched area is a 10% or greater probability of 2 inch diameter hail or larger within 25 miles of a point. So just be on guard. You could see some. Uh, some big time hailstones falling out of the sky there today. All right, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Hawaii just got through with a little eruption, right? We're going to see this at a pause for a little, well, not a pause. It's slowly inflating. Here's the uh, eruption that lasted for a short time, depleted quite a bit of volume of magma from below. And now we're going back up here. So just rinse and repeat. 
It's I think we're working on number 18 or 19 of the episodes that's been going on here across Kilauea Volcano. Uh, so nothing new, nothing uh, changing out there for now. Uh, let's see, anything else going on here, folks? It's just kind of a kind of a quiet day. I don't know. It feels a little bit eerily quiet for large earthquake activity. And, you know, remember here, we've had, you know, some interesting activity recently with a bunch of sixes and sevens. But on average, I, I do like to show this map, this little graph here. It's just the average amount of earthquakes that occur anywhere around the planet here on each year. So, you know, a lot of these over a million earthquakes of magnitude 2.0 to 2.9. Most of those are not going to be felt. It's 3.0 and above where most of the people feel it, right? But, uh... Yeah, on average, we should see 136.0 to 6.9 earthquakes, 15 7.0 to 7.9. And, you know, we're, we just looked at this here a couple videos back. We're right around average or slightly below average for the uh, amount of earthquakes so far this year. Uh, should have seen an eight-pointer. Haven't, we, we haven't seen one since, uh, well, 2021. So eventually, you know, that's going to have to come up here, but they don't have nine pointers on here because it's, those are a little bit uh, harder to average out, right? It could go an extensive amount of time, or we could have two, you know, within uh, a couple decades of each other, but should have seen an eight pointer by now. And 2021, here we are, 2025. Yeah. So anytime possibly here, I mean, we've looked at averages in the past as well. And there's been some times where there's a couple of years in between the eight pointers. But I don't know about this time frame. We're, you know, looking at four years right now. Uh, again, this is just the average number of earthquakes per year. So we'll just uh, see what Mother Nature here has in store. Nothing new down here. So, all right, I'm out of here, folks. Got uh, somewhat of a busy day. I'll catch you guys out here a little bit later on this evening, uh, unless something major happens between now and then. Have a good one.